Nijigan's looks under pressure more than uh, Reardon. But in fact, I think that Reardon is not withstanding the pressure quite as well as Alex. He looks cool, but he's missed one or two pressure shots there. And uh, he's certainly got it all to do now. In addition to all the prize money in this year's uh, Embassy World Championship, uh, there is a prize for the highest break, some £2,500, which at the moment is in the hands of Willie Thorne with a magnificent break, break of 143. Should we have seen a maximum break of 147, there's a prize of some £10,000. Extraordinary prize money, but as Rex says, what they're both after is the title of world snooker champion. And Alex Higgins comes to the table requiring just one frame to get that. Well, that's not too bad. Left a red over the corner pocket, but fortunately the cue ball has come to rest in a position that Redden can't cue at it, so he's playing a safety shot. Foul four, Alex Higgins. Well, I must say he's done a number of those during the course of this final. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Cue ball keeps popping into the pocket. <laughs> and that's a magnificent shot, right on the black. Yes, and that was a real pressure shot because had he have missed that, all the reds were spread open and he would have left me with a good chance. Marvellous shot. And I think he's made a bit of a mess of that one. Eight. left himself in a very difficult position to use the rest. <laughs> well, 
he's got the shot, but Nine. the result is that uh, he's out of position on the black, and this is a very dangerous shot again. And everything's starting to flow now for Alex Higgins. Well, Alex knows that the championship is within his grasp from this position. Providing that he's very careful. No reason why he shouldn't win the title here. And Redden will be suffering in his seat. This is the fourth time that Alex Higgins has been in this final. Won it in 1972. Lost it to Ray Redden in 1976. 39 and lost it to the Canadian champion Cliff Thorburn in 1980. Frustrated, but helpless. Forty-four. Well, I think that's just touched that red in the right way to Leave it into the corner pocket if he wishes to play that. He uh, throws in the centre and providing the strength is right for the black. And it is. He's still back in perfect position. Seven. Well, now he's got the perfect angle and he's got to disturb the Reds. And that's perfect. That certainly must be the shot that makes the title certain. Seventy-two. 
77. The 33-year-old Irishman making hay while the sun shines. Going out in a complete blaze of glory here. 84. 85. Controversial, temperamental, but a terrific talent for the game of snooker. Ninety-two. And what a way to finish. Snooker century of the championship. And what a time to make it, Ted. Fantastic. Just three Five balls feet. to go now for a break of a hundred and thirty five. Ray Reardon has sat in his chair for the whole of this final frame. Fantastic. And the Embassy World Snooker Champion for 1982 is Alex Hurricane Higgins. Completely exhausted is Higgins. Standing ovation throughout the thousand people here at the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield. Alex Hurricane Higgins, after 10 years, has regained the title of World Snooker Champion. Ladies and gentlemen. And admirers all the way round, the fans coming forward, congratulations from every side for this extraordinary young Irishman you, who has done please. so much for the world of snooker since ladies he came on the scene just 10 years ago. He sits in his seat he stands up. He is completely exhausted, but he is the Embassy World Champion 1982. Ladies and gentlemen, please, we have the presentation now. Alex waiting now. He went straight to Ray Reardon, put his head on his shoulder, knowing that he had taken a crown that Ray had held on six occasions.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well appreciated applause for the new world champion. Now, let's not forget, we've had here a magnificent final tonight. And please, ladies and gentlemen, we have a worthy runner-up. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Reardon. commiserate with I you know all the guys I've played along the way and, and especially the likes of Willie Thorne and Jimmy White who I really thought produced a lot and, and well this kid from nowhere actually didn't sit and I was so surprised myself uh, and I'd, I'd like to sort of uh, give my uh, kindest regards or warm hearted feelings to Ray because he really made me fight <laughs> I mean, there's all sorts of backroom people involved with this World Championship, uh, snooker, snooker sport promotions and embassy, referees, backroom staff, everyone. Uh, at a loss for further words, I'm just a very, very happy man. I probably will die happy. And uh, <laughs> thank you all very, very much indeed. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Higgins.